In the world today, majority of sickle cell anemia cases occur in Africa, three quarters to be precise. Statistics show that every year, 200,000 infants are born with sickle cell in Africa, with Nigeria, the number one sickle cell endemic country in Africa, accounting for about 150,000 of these cases. At least 100,000 infants die from the disease in Nigeria every year. That leaves us with 50,000 children. Research shows that if and when these children manage to pass through infancy, their life expectancy is greatly shortened. I've actually thought that a lot of them, not physically though, but I had to literally use all my strength to do it when I'm really ill and Inside of me, I'm scared, but because people around me, as I try to be right, a lot of times. So, yeah. It's weird, but it's true. For a brief moment, my mind is clear. I'm trying to put back the pieces of my present. My name is Aurelie. I'm a young lady living with sickle cell disease. And this right here is my diary. I was actually born with sickle cell, but I did like my parents did not have sickle cell. My whole family did not have sickle cell until I was age ten, and I had a really bad crisis. The doctor saw me because it was a pediatrician. And he was like, oh, and he looked and he was like, in your crisis, right? <laughs> My family was all stunned, like, huh? <laughs> I know, she doesn't have sickle cell. They're like, yes, she does. Did you study? Huh? Did you study? Was it? Yeah, I'm it's not something I wish upon my enemy or anybody to go through it because I'm not the only one who suffers from sickle cell. My entire family do suffer from sickle cell as well. Not, not that they have excess genotype or anything though. No. When I'm in pain, they're in pain. I even told a nurse, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to make it. And she was like, oh, well, you don't say that. I'm like, I don't think so. Because even, but it's just something I couldn't tell my family. Whenever they come, I'm just there crying and screaming. And every time you're in pain, and you know, I'm a Christian, so in church they go, don't question God. But trust me, when I'm in really bad pain, I do question God. Like, I just ask God, why? Like, why me? People with sickle cell disease, their red blood cells become deformed turning sickle-shaped. The bone marrow tries to make more red cells to make up for the loss, but can't keep up, causing anemia. Their new shape keeps them from moving properly through the body, and the misshapen cells can jam up and stick to the walls of the blood vessels. These clumps cut off oxygen to healthy tissue, delaying a child's normal growth and causing fatigue and extreme pain. Sometimes I try to be happy, I talk on the phone a lot with my friends, I just cry calls and before like all the unlimited internet um, hotspot thing on the mobile came about, my mom used to buy the dongle internet thing for me so I could still communicate with the world. Nigeria, I think you have to take folic acid and something called paludrin and they don't take penicillin but in the uk we take folic acid and penicillin and because i know uh, nigerian doctors once questioned me telling me why should a white man be telling you people to take penicillin you are not supposed to take penicillin why should they be treating our own disease but funny enough penicillin is really important because it's antibiotics with sickle cell immune system is really low so that's the reason in this country, and because of our spleen as well. Because our spleen don't function like 
every other person. So we take penicillin in the UK for um, twice a day, folic acid once a day. Um, and um, for me, me in person, and a couple of other people in the UK, and I don't know, some people in America as well, I think. I take penicillin, my own treatment. I take penicillin, folic acid. I've, I used to have um, monthly blood transfusion as in top of transfusion, but I had to stop because of iron overload. So now I'm on X Jade, which is an iron. De, um, de, is called X Jade. It's a dexfrexamine to reduce the iron in my system. So comes out in a different way. So they had to change me to something called X Chain transfusion, where they take out some. I don't know the maths of it, but. I think you take you weigh my body percentage of blood. You take out some and you put some. That's just it. And with that, it mixes up so that some bloods are coming out instead of staying in. And because we sick cell, our red blood cells for normal people is 120 something days, but for sick cell people is like I think 23 days or 30 something days. So. That's the reason you see a lot of six cell people while like your eyes are jaundiced. Mine is now because it's got my spleen and all of that. I my spleen, my gallbladder. Yeah, but I do get yellow sometimes. Meet Uche, the love of my life. Anyway, Uche, let's continue our conversation. Anyway, I like to know Uche's business. As a big sister, that's my duty. And Uche has. Uche is like me, he's a boss. So. Many fools find people. He is such an adorable brother. I love him to bits. And I know how I don't know. He doesn't talk about it, but I think I know how he might feel about it. Yes. <coughs> you guys should start deciding. What do you guys should go spring or something? I mean, I'll give all of you twenty pack of CDs. <laughs> 20 pack of CDs because I never become a glory of <laughs> Like, so I try my best to not make him feel like the sick person. There's one sick person, not two. I'm like his first mom, in case you didn't hear that part. Why? Because he tells me everything. <laughs> Get <a> witch. <laughs> How? Even me, sir. I be fear. <laughs> so I still I try my best, so he doesn't really come in that much or whatever. So he could still have his life and all of that, yeah. And he's really helpful. When I'm sick, he looks after me. When I was sick in Nigeria, oh my god. Which is a proper, like, god, I'm so jealous of his future wife <laughs> because he's got a very good heart. What's the cause I've done to you? Feelings wise. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Have you ever been scared? No. Have you ever been worried? Worried, yeah. Why? No. His world, like his, like, is like a proper. How do I put it? What words do I use? His well brought up to look after people because. He understands me, like sometimes when I'm ill and everything irritates me and blah blah blah. He tried to stay out my way and all. Yeah, you might say, okay, it's because like, you know, you're older than him and all of that, but not, not all kids can like handle stuff like that, but he could and I'm really proud of him. Yeah, and sometimes when I'm sick and I don't want to call the ambulance, I just want to take a cab and go to Annie. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he follows me to the hospital. Like, it's that cool. And then when grandma comes in, and yeah, she's a clown. 
<laughs> she likes it. It's my day. <laughs> like with Sakata, like my thing is not that good. So um you have to like find a thing somebody um, a lot or sometimes they have to do my fit when I got in one neck. I think I got a picture of that somewhere on my phone. I got in my neck and all of that and then my girl my girl is to find a doctor. <laughs> she used to get like is that bad too? <laughs> is she a cushion? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when people come around you, you have to laugh. It helps with the pain. It would be hot when I have That's my comment on everything. Yeah, I try my best to do everything. I love to travel. Like, I just completed my masters now. And I'm willing to travel more. <laughs> I want to see the world. I know it's hard for me to travel because of my lungs as well. Because I have to have oxygen on board most times. But most times I don't. I'm not supposed to say this on camera. But most times I don't really want to use oxygen. Because you get this weird look from people that because imagine looking so nice and working down and going into the uh what's it called the plane and then the next thing you have oxygen <laughs> to your face and then you get this look she <laughs> when i'm going to nigeria coming from nigeria you get this look from like mm, hey yeah <laughs> not the nigerian language but oh She's about to die. <laughs> so sometimes I know it's my help. I'm just like serious. God, where do I start counting my blessings? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So those are my strengths. My blessing, my everything. It's so close as well. But still I achieved so much. Primary school, you know, I had six so. Did my second school, did my GCSE in hospital from accident and emergency, and I did it. I did college for two years and I got an award. Like, you can see behind me, like there. Yeah, I got, I got that award. So it's like one of the, my best experiences. Like, it actually made me feel proud that I did this. and. I was so cool. Um, yeah, and then I went on to university for like, you know, and then after that I went to Nigeria for a year to do my NYC and I got the opportunity to work with Central Bank of Nigeria and I came back and I did more masters in something different from what I did for my undergrad because my undergrad did media film production. Um, a media person I love film and I love creative stuff because I'm a very 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 hyper person so yeah <laughs> and yeah and then my masters I like studied um, international relations in oil and gas just completed it this August and I'm so grateful to God for that and also moving back to Nigeria for a job check out in Delta all I pray is not to be in crisis and yeah, that's my life. <laughs> so yeah, big ups to all the Sikasa warriors around the world. Yeah, that's what we call ourselves because we go through a whole lot of pain. And some of us are further and some of us are still here. You know what? The age limit is increasing every day. So I'm gonna pray all of us to see our great grandchildren and grandchildren which everyone will. I wish everybody a happy life. God bless and I love you all. And that's my pink paradise over there, you know. That's where the magic never happens, fam. Because I'm in my mother's house, fam. <laughs> you want the magic to happen, you want to get me cute, fam. <laughs>